to the women, you're like, you can keep sitting around pretending that it's not you. It ain't gonna change nothing. They've had enough. They're done. They, they have checked out. And they've been checking out for a while now. And you, you've been in denial about it. You've been in denial about it. Like you, you you're like, look, you, you see this on the individual level. How many times have you seen a dude in a relationship with a chick and the dude be like, I'm done, and the chick is like, you can't leave me? You know you still want me? Like, they're delusional. They're delusional. Now, what finally pushed them over the edge <laughs> to where they finally have to accept the fact that they're being rejected, not as individuals, but as a group. See, for a long time, they've been lying to themselves. They've been gassing each other up. They've been blowing smoke up each other's PBLs. But see, at this point, it's right there in their face. The moment that these dudes not only started getting their passports and going to other countries and documenting it, they didn't just do it as individuals. They started a whole movement. So now, it's right there in their face. And now the rejection is real. And they can't handle it. Which is amazing to me because how long have men had to face rejection? Men have had to face rejection their entire lives. Still do. The one time that they have to face rejection... They can't even handle it. The one time they have to face rejection, you see them losing their minds. If you look at some of these videos that they do about passport bros, they've lost their minds. They lost it. They lost their minds. Now, what, what, is, what is one of the things that I've noticed that lets you know that they've lost their mind? Well, here's something that they love to do. Here's something that B-Dubs love to do. And it's a little trick they learned from Zaddy. Right? Whenever they don't get their way, they try to figure out some form of manipulation in order to get things back on track.